right, well, welcome back to another episode of Third Coast OBS, where we don't really know what we're doing, but we're trying really hard. Today, after a week of fighting rain, mud, stuck trucks, I finally got the truck up to where I can work on it. I'm gonna try and start to get a little bit done as far as getting the transmission out of the Lightning. So I'm pretty much just gonna jump right into it, try to follow the steps, and see what we can get done before it gets dark. There we go. Okay, underneath. First thing we probably want to do is go ahead and come up to your transmission pan. Let's go ahead and drop this pan, get rid of this fluid, and the filter that's inside of here. Okay, these are 10 millimeter bolts all the way around there. So we're going to go ahead and take them all out. That's the pan dropped. Now we want to get rid of the filter. It's still got fluid in it. It just pushes into place. So we got to wiggle it. We're gonna make sure that it's still got the grommet on there. That's it. A little bit here, which is common for where your uh, filter is going to sit. It'll kind of rub. Other than that, looks good. Got a drain. Now we're just gonna hold it in place. We're just putting four bolts in for right now. Okay, now that we're here, we got uh, we got the helper here. Jax has made an appearance. He's sitting on my manual. We've dropped the transmission pan. We drained it. That was the first. Uh, one of the first steps uh, that way we're not going to leak too much uh, fluid whenever we pull the drive shaft next we're supposed to move up here to this plate the front of the transmission at the bell housing okay whenever I drain the torque converter you pull this out you have access to these bolts they want you to actually pull this cover off so that's our next step let's see what we can do so this guy here is wanting to round so this one broke loose Okay, this is six weeks later, finally feeling better, we're getting back to this. I'm hoping I got on tape taken off this plate to give access to the torque converter. Torque converter to flex plate bolts. So it should be four, I believe, of these. We got it locked up front, so we're not gonna rotate the engine. One, now we need to rotate around till we see the next one. I'll be right back. Gotta go up front and turn it. Ugh. Right there. Okay, I gotta hold up here. So I gotta hold the crank with my left arm because I don't have any pipe to lock it in. Well, this ain't easy. Three out of the four. Problem is, these are all rounded. Well, first one wasn't too bad, but they are in pretty bad shape. And I'm having to use one of these bits that bite onto them. Otherwise, I'm just stripping them out. Damn GoPro keeps cutting out on me. You know, we need to drain the fluid out of the torque converter. There we go. Now we gotta find a drain that's in the torque converter. Because we're looking right in here for that drain. Y'all tell me when. There she is. Let's drain it. I got the plug out. Drained, good. Let's get it back in there. Good enough for now. Okay, now let's move to 
the drive shaft. You slid back the drive shaft. How's your fuel tank? It's off. So you gotta get this off. There should be four bolts. Once we can get this four bolts, we'll drop down and slide it out as best we can. Oh, look at that. Jeez, that's, that's loose already. That's three out of the four. Not much room, is there? Before we take out the last one, I don't know how necessary this will be, but let's go ahead and try to mark a lineup spot. And what I've seen is they take them out. I guess we'll try to brace just in case, but we got to kind of knock it loose. We knock it loose is whenever we need to lower it and slide it out. Let's see what happens. It looks like it's already moving. And what I've watched is the people just take out all four bolts and then they have to kind of knock it loose. So we're going to see if it does that or it just falls on my face. That's different. The bolt came out. Oh, you know what? I got pressure because I'm on jacks. Well, got it out. Now we're just going to slide back out of the transmission. Oh, shit. There it goes. That's what was in the transmission. Drive shafts out, I'm gonna put it up and then we can start looking at disconnecting all the lines to get the rest of the transmission out. I'm gonna go put this in the shed. So the next step is the manual shift linkage. I see if I can get the camera set up. It's gonna be on the driver's side and it's basically what feeds through and goes to your uh, neutral safety switch. So we need to get that unhooked, unbolted before we move on so we can start getting all these wires and lines undone. It says to start with that one, let's do it. So let's shift linkage right here. So we need to undo this. Off the end, right? There'd just be a ball stud on there. Oh man, look at that. This, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that is burnt wires because they laid this wiring harness over the exhaust. Pop that off. Okay, now we move over to your neutral safety switch. Right here, and it's got that where it plugs in. If anybody's ever had to change one of these, I did. It's not fun. There it goes. You kind of give it a little twist, and there it goes. So we got this disconnected. So it appears. There should have been a heat shield somewhere in here, and it's gone, so we don't got to move that. Throttle linkage is done. Let's go ahead and get this connection undone, which is pretty beat up, to be honest. They got some electrical tape. Oh, it's barely even on there. Okay, that's unhooked. Look at that. Oh, that wouldn't even... Look at this. Wow. I'm surprised this truck ran. Alright. The connection on top, I can't get to right now. I'm just going to have to lower the back end and try to unplug it. It's just so wedged in there. Okay, so let's pull the dipstick tube. And then we're going to pull the starter. So let's rotate to the other side. Take the starter off. This exhaust is right in the way. Am I seeing something?
I was at one bolt. Okay, new plan. That starter is buried behind that aftermarket exhaust, and I don't know how to get to it. So, I'm gonna pull off that header and get that header out of the way so I can get to the stupid starter. So I've been really overthinking these header bolts. 3-8 studs, 12 point. Uh, there's a couple real tight fitting ones in there that I sat here and messed with, but you just need your box end wrench to get over there into the tight spots. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six left. I'm gonna undo those. And then I'm gonna go underneath and try to unbolt because that's also gonna give me access to the transmission lines and all the other stuff that they just completely rigged up in here. So I'll be back to you when I'm dropping the header. All right, new game plan again. Now that we have the headers completely unbolted, it gives me a little bit of wiggle room underneath. It's cleared me enough space that through this window that bolt that I'm going for at the top of the starter, I can actually get in there with extensions and a swivel and break that bolt loose. So once that bolt was loose, I can take the starter out. This view, it looks so easy to get to. Wouldn't believe how hard it is. Here she comes. Finally. Ah, starter's free. Okay, we got the starter out. Now we're gonna go after these cooler lines that are running right next to the exhaust. This exhaust is worrying me if I need to pull it or not. So there's a cooler line to the front and the back of this transmission. We're gonna come over here, use a flare nut wrench to try and just loosen these up and unhook them. Okay, we're gonna start this one in the back. Looks like a 13. There it is. Broke it loose. Up front here, I need to get all the way in there with this wrench. But it won't let me. Okay. So the key to taking this off is I got to use that grip bit, that one that bites into the nut on one end, and I had to use a thin thinner socket out of my quarter inch set and we're two down once I get this third one out I should be able to get the headers moved out of the way and I can pretty much get to that fitting oh we sure got a lot of stuff to do Well, this has been one of the hardest videos I've ever shot for YouTube. At the beginning of this video that you see, me starting this project happened back in July. With the new baby, me getting very sick for a few weeks, and weather and all kinds of things getting in the way, I've barely been able to throw any time at this, so it's really stretching out. This project looks like it wouldn't have been too, too bad, but I just don't have the time to dedicate that much to getting in there and doing this by myself. Also, there's just been a, quite a few things that have popped up on this truck that were um, engineered differently than I would ever thought of. Uh, heat shield gone, wires resting on exhaust. It looks to me like they cut a little bit of the frame. There's some things that looks like they were soldered on, but that's what you get with a, a project truck. Luckily, we're starting from scratch. We're rebuilding ground up, so a lot of the stuff is not gonna hurt because it's all gonna be replaced anyway. The next step is pretty much, we're gonna start unbolting and taking it down. I don't have the daylight or the time right now to start that part. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a good ending spot. Guys, as always, if you stuck me to the end of this one, I appreciate it. And hopefully next time it goes maybe a little bit smoother. Um, until then, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.